at the doctor's for one of the many visits and I'm getting a colposcopy. So no big deal, the doctor is just gonna take this thing and stare inside my vagina. <laughs> so weird. No, give a pound. High five. Pound. Boom. I had a bad pap smear. The cells came back as abnormal, and it could be a sign of early, like an early sign of cancer, which is obviously super concerning. So she's gonna look at it a little bit more thoroughly and see if that's indeed what it is. And if it is, there's really not a lot I can do because I'm pregnant, and we don't want to do anything to harm this baby. So I don't know what we'll do, but I'm just putting positive vibes out there that there's no issue. So if you wanna throw a prayer out for me, I wouldn't hate that. I would actually really appreciate it. I feel like, you know, here's the diagram. She's just gonna stare at my hoo-ha and look at these things. Oh, I would not, I mean, I am a labor and delivery nurse, so I have looked at vaginas a lot, but to actually have to like put a, um, the pap smear thingy in there and actually like look into someone's vagina. Not like really that interested in it. I'd rather just see a baby's head coming out. That's, that's my job. That's all I want to do. <laughs> but anyways, looks like they're all set up. So. Naked from the waist down and just sitting here with my legs in the stirrups. Just waiting for the doctor to come. It's so awkward. I don't know if this ever begins to feel normal. I'm gonna take a nap and pray to God that this turns out okay because I don't know that's really scary but I just discovered who my father was I spent 33 years not knowing who my dad is but now I know who he is and the first thing one of the first things my aunt Tracy said to me was don't worry cancer doesn't run on our side of the family so I'm pretty confident it doesn't run on my mom's side either so I'm pretty confident that this is hopefully nothing but this is the second time I've had a bad pap smear and I've had to have a colposcopy so I mean that's not very reassuring to me um but I'm just praying it away and putting positive vibes into the universe because you can't change it so you have to just stay positive easier said than done <laughs> but I'm sure it's fine you want to see the baby pump oh this bump is still like I'm literally four months pregnant and it's still kind of small like it basically just looks like I ate a big burrito. I don't think you can see it, but I can't wait for it to get really big and pop. Maybe this is just a bad angle. I feel like it's fine, but she's like, oh, we have to double check and look at like the hot, like the strain of HPV. So I have HPV, which I always assumed in uh, nursing school is that most people get HPV from multiple partners. I'll just be honest and say I've only slept with five people in my whole entire lifetime and I have HPV. I'm like, how do I have HPV? But anyways, so I do. And um, so they're just gonna, they just, she just like swabbed my cervix and uh, is going to look at it under a microscope and see if there's any dysplasia on my tissue. And obviously if there is, then it's concerning because that's like a sign of early cancer. Um, and if there isn't, then, you know, I should be fine. So, I mean, there's really nothing I can do even if there is though because I'm pregnant. So usually they would obviously try to do a leap procedure and get rid of that tissue, but I'm pregnant and you can't do that while you're pregnant. So it would just sit in there, which is crazy, but Oh, and that like brings so many questions. Like poor, like I just feel bad for moms that have like life or death situations while they're pregnant because it's like you or your baby. Like what do you do? And I instantly want to say, well, of course I'm gonna save my baby. But then what if they grow up without a mom? I mean, whew, and I don't know. I just I'm just thanking God that I don't have any serious issue right now to worry about and I'm literally saying a prayer for all the mamas who do because I can't imagine the fear and the pain that you experience when you're pregnant and you hear bad news so I'm just literally gonna say a prayer for you all um but anyways 
Fingers crossed. Thanks for following along our journey. I really appreciate it. I genuinely do. I can feel your love and support and it means the world to me. And I'm sending it right back.